Yeah, they are. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, this is uh, August 17th at uh, 545. We'll pass that time you know, for the phone call, but uh, we will be starting with evening prayer followed by the Luminous Mysteries Rosary. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. <clears throat> Almighty God, whose will supreme made oceans flood with life to team, part in the firmament to fly, and part in ocean depths to lie. Appointing fishes in the sea, and fowls in open air to be, that each by origin the same, its separate dwelling place might claim. Grant that thy servants by the by the tide of blood and water purified, no guilty fall with thee may know, nor death eternal undergo. Sorry. Let none despair, though sins through sin's distress. Be none puffed up with boastfulness, that contrite hearts be not dismayed, nor haughty souls in ruin laid. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost and thee do live and reign eternally. Amen. <clears throat> and Fan one, let your holy people rejoice, O Lord, as they enter your dwelling place. Let your holy people People rejoice, O Lord, as they enter into your dwelling place. Psalm 32, God's promises to the house of David. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestors, David. O Lord, remember David and all the many hardships he endured, the oath he swore to the Lord, his vow to the strong one of Jacob. I will not enter the house where I live, nor go to the bed where I rest. I will give no sleep to my eyes, to my eyelids I will give no slumber, till I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling for the strong one of Jacob. At Erath. Ephrathah. 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 Yeah. We heard of the ark. We found it in the plains of Yerim. Let us go to the place of his dwelling. Let us go to kneel at his footstool. Go up, Lord, to the place of your rest, you and the dark of and you and the ark of your strength. Your priests shall be clothed with holiness, your faithful shall ring out for their joy. For the sake of David, your servant, do not reject your anointed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let your holy people rejoice, O Lord, as they enter your dwelling place. Antiphon 2, the Lord has chosen Zion as, Zion as his sanctuary. The Lord has chosen Zion as his sanctuary. The Lord swore an oath to David. He will not go back on his word. A son, the fruit of your body, will I set upon your throne. If they keep my covenant in truth and my laws that I have taught them, their sons also shall rule on your throne from age to age. For the Lord has chosen Zion, he has desired it for his dwelling. This is my resting place forever. Here have I chosen to live. I will greatly bless her produce. I will fill her poor with bread. I will clothe her priests with salvation, and her faithful shall ring out their joy. There David's stock will flower. I will prepare a lamp for my anointed. I will cover his enemies with shame, but on him my crown shall shine. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you chose to suffer and be overwhelmed by death in order to open the gates of death in triumph. Stay with us to help us on our pilgrimage. Free us from all evil by the power of your re resurrection. In the company of your saints and constantly remembering your love for us, may we sing of your wonders in our Father's house. The Lord has chosen Zion as his sanctuary. 
Antiphon 3, the Father has given Christ all power, honor, and kingship. All people will obey him. The Father has given Christ all power, honor, and kingship. All people will obey him. Canticle of Revelation 11, 17 through 18, 12, 10b through 12a, the judgment of God. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was. You have assumed your great power. You have begun your reign. The nations have raged in anger, but then came your day of wrath and the mo moment to judge the dead. The time to reward your servants, the prophets, and the holy ones who revere the great and the small alike. <clears throat> now have salvation and power come to reign of our God and the authority of his anointed one. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who night and day accused them before God. They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. So rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell therein. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. The Father has given Christ all power, honor, and kingship. All people will obey him. Reading from First Peter. All of you should be like-minded, sympathetic, loving toward one another, kindly disposed, and humble. Do not return evil for evil or insult for insult. Return a blessing instead. This you have been called to do, that you may receive a blessing as your inheritance. The Lord has given us food, bread of the finest wheat. The Lord has given us food, bread of the finest wheat. Honey from the rock of our heart's content. Bread of the finest wheat. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord has given us food, bread of the finest wheat. God has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. <laughs> My soul proclaim, proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed, and Almighty, the Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He, he has, has shown, shown us, sorry, go ahead. Lord, He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones. He has cast, he has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things the, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever, amen. God has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. Let us call upon Christ, the good shepherd, who comes to the aid of his people. Hear us, O God, our refuge. Blessed are you, Lord, for you graciously called us into your holy church. Keep us within the church until death. Hear us, O God, our refuge. You have given the care of all the churches to our Pope. Give him unfailing faith, living, lively hope, and loving concern. Hear us, O God, our refuge. Grant the grace of conversion to all sinners and the grace of true repentance to all men. Hear us, O God, our refuge. You are willing to live as a stranger in our world. Be mindful of those who are separated from family and homeland. Hear us, O God, our refuge. To all the departed who have hope in you, grant eternal peace. Hear us, O God, our refuge. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, we thank you for guiding us through the course of this day, day's work. In your compassion, forgive the sins we have com committed through human weakness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil. And bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. <clears throat>
Paul from his epistle to the Ephesians chapter 3 verses 16 through 19. We pray that God would grant us according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with power through his spirit in our inner man so that Christ may dwell in our hearts through faith and that we being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and the height and height and depth and to know the love of Christ which surpasses knowledge that we may be filled up to all the fullness of God. We lift up the corporal spiritual prosperity of our parishes in the Diocese of Salt Lake City in Boise, Idaho. We ask for wisdom for Bishop Solis and Christian to Shepherd God's flock. We lift the intentions of our plain people, spiritual directors, fathers, Nadal, Sternhagen, and all the priests in the Diocese of Salt Lake City in Boise, Idaho. We are praying for a hundred year vision for the flame keepers that we might spread the fire of God's love throughout Utah, Idaho, and the whole world. We lift up the daily Zoom rosaries. We are asking for increase inwardly and fruitfulness outwardly. We lift up our weekly Zoom captains training, asking for the Lord to raise up captains of 10, captains of 50, captains of 100, and captains of 1,000. We lift up our monthly fire pit fellowship in Malad, Idaho, and St. Paul Mission every first Sunday at 5 p.m. We also lift up the monthly fire pit fellowship at St. Anne's Catholic Church in Salt Lake City, Utah, every third Sunday at 5.30 p.m. We are praying for relationships to deepen and love to increase. We lift up our annual Plane Keepers Men's Retreat, the 100 Years of Fire, 14th Annual Men's Retreat on August 9th through 11th, 2024. And we ask for grace on all those who volunteer to steward the uh, 2024 retreat. We ask for grace on our advertising and registration process. We pray, Lord, that the 2024 retreat will be marked by signs and wonders and abundance of signal graces, undeniable prophetic significance for both Utah and Idaho, a huge increase of youth and young adults, and a harvest of souls. We ask, Lord, that just as Our Lady of Guadalupe brought in millions of souls, may Our Lady of Utah and Idaho, Our Lady of the Hills, bring in tens of millions of more souls through this eternal retreat. We lift up the following Flame Keeper Associated Projects and Ministries, the biweekly youth power pods and alternating biweekly youth Bible study. Lord, pour out your blessings upon these youth gatherings and help the youth become excited about the Lord and desire to know him deeper and seek a closer relationship with you. May their understanding and practicing of prayer, word, and relationship grow exponentially in every area of their lives the youth adoration at saint rose of lima lord we pray for the youth adoration intercessors at saint rose of lima catholic church in lake utah we ask for the continual expansion of the community of adorers intercessors and pour your power and pour your power over them to create greater intimacy with you and each other we also ask for the continual growth not just in prayer, but in relationship. And Carlo Acutis, Apostle, Lord, we ask for a move of the Holy Spirit to awaken the hearts of the youth of the diocese, that they would fall in love with the true presence of Christ in the Eucharist. We ask for open doors at parishes all across, all across the diocese, the parishes would host youth gatherings that would help birth the youth revival. The Chester Academy, Lord, we thank you for the move of the Holy Spirit that is taking place throughout the chest of academies throughout the world. We thank you, Lord, that you are using chest academies to raise up many priests and Sumerians who will help shepherd your flock in future generations. We thank you for bringing the academy to our local community and to bless all blame recap, all flame keeper families who are helping to establish it. We pray for strength, perseverance, financial abundance, and great joy for the academy's initial year of operation here in Utah. And now let us unify our minds and spirits in a prayer for the United States of America composed by His Excellency Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano. Almighty eternal God, King of kings and Lord of lords, graciously turn your gaze to us who invoke you with confidence. Bless us, citizens of the United States of America. Grant peace and prosperity to our nation and eliminate those who govern us so that they may commit themselves to the common good and respect 
for your holy law. Protect those who, defending the inviolable principles of the natural law and your commandments, must face the repeated assaults of the enemy of the human race. Keep in the hearts of your children courage for the truth, love for virtue, and perseverance in the midst of trials. Make our families grow in the example that our Lord has given us together with his most holy mother and Saint Joseph in the home of Nazareth. Give to our fathers and mothers the gift of strength to educate wisely the children with which you have blessed them. Give courage to those who, in spiritual combat, fight the good fight as soldiers of Christ against the furious forces of the children of darkness. Keep each one of us, O Lord, in your most sacred heart, and above all, he whom your providence has placed at the head of our nation. Bless the President of the United States of America, so that aware of his responsibilities and duties, he may be a knight of justice, a defender of the oppressed, a firm bulwark for your enemies, against your enemies, and a positive border of the children of light. Place the United States of America and the whole world under the mantle of the Queen of Victories, our unconquered leader in battle, the Immaculate Conception. It is, it is thanks to her and through your mercy that the hymn of praise rises to you, O Lord, from the children whom you have redeemed by, in the most precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And now if anyone has... Yeah. Oops, sorry. And now if anybody else has an intention they'd like to lift up, please feel free to unmute your microphone and do so. If you're joining us on the YouTube channel, you can uh, put in your comments, place it in your comments, uh, and we will review them and put them in our prayer list. Lord, I just pray for the truth that is coming out about the Maui carnage, how this whole thing was um, part of a deep state plan to wipe out an old old um, history or there were people that are trying to take advantage of this disaster Lord we ask you to protect the citizens from the evil corruption of FEMA and the Hawaii National Guard who are killing their own citizens, hurting people, stealing um, stealing property from their bodies, dead bodies. Lord, we ask that you come against all of this and cause these people to be exposed and to stop this carnage rather than to help them bring the food and the water that FEMA will not deliver to them. Or break down this this corruptive whatever is happening over there, Lord. This is unconscionable. It's evil. It's totally demonic. Lord God, we just praise you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for through all the fires, even though all those people lost their homes and businesses, that in the center of all of it is untouched, unscathed, even, even the trees around it, the Catholic Church in that community, that you saved it from any harm, a place, a beacon that shows hope through all this darkness. Lord God, please bring the, bring the forces to bear that caused this to happen. Expose them to the public, Lord God, and help these poor people recover from their disaster. Christ, may we pray. Lord, I thank you for all the many blessings you have bestowed upon us all. I also ask that you continue to watch over those that are facing um, illness or um, uh, illnesses or uh, addiction problems or anything in that sort, Lord, that you would help them and, and guide them out of their addiction or guide them through their, their pain, that you would help them and that you would be with them, Lord. 
ask you, Lord, also to pray for our youth. Um, a a uh, re revival of the youth and young adults in our faith, that they would uh, turn to you, Lord, instead of turning to the, the evil one, that they would turn to you and show their love for you, Lord. Amen. Praying for the will of the Blessed Mother in service to the Blessed Mother for the glory of the King. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, we love you. Save the souls of the unborn children, all souls in purgatory all priests and religious, and all marriages and families. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. The first luminous mystery is the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan by St. John the Baptist. Before we pray there, our Father, followed by the decade of Hail Mary, joined with us for meditative purposes in the recitation of the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 1, verses 4 through 11. As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Behold, I send my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way, the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make ready the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. Uh, John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And all of the country of Judea was going out to him and all the people of Jerusalem. And they were being baptized by him in the Jordan River, confessing their sins. John was clothed with camel's hair and wore a leather belt around his waist, and his diet was locusts and wild honey. And he was preaching and saying, After me, one is coming who is mightier than I, and I am not fit to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth to Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. Immediately coming out of the water, he saw the heavens opening and the spirit like a dove descending upon him. And a voice came out of the heavens, you are my beloved son in you, in you I am well pleased. Baptism of Jesus in the Jordan by St. John the Baptist. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, we love you. Save the souls of the unborn children, all souls in purgatory, all priests and religious, and all marriages and families. St. Stephen of Hungary. Pray for us. The second luminous mystery is the miracle, miracle at the wedding feast in Cana. And before we pray to our Father, followed by the decade of Hail Mary, join with us for meditative purposes and a recitation of the Gospel of St. John, chapter 2, verses 4 through 11. On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there, and both Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding. When the wine ran, ran out, the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. And Jesus said to said to her, Woman, what does this have to do with us? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Whatever he says to you, do it. Now there were six stone water pots set there for Jewish custom of purification, containing 20 or 30 gallons each. Jesus said to them, Fill the water pots with water. So they filled the, them to the brim, and he said to them, Draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it to him. When the head waiter tasted the water, which had become wine, and did not know where it came from, but the servants who had drawn the water knew, the head waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, Every man serves the good wine first, but when and when the people have drunk freely, then he serves the poor wine. But you have kept the good wine until now. This beginning of his signs Jesus did in Cana of Galilee and manifested his glory, and his disciples believed in him. The second luminous mystery, the miracle of the wedding feast at Cana. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Uh, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us and is now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us and is now the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, we love you. Save us all with the unborn children, all souls in purgatory, all priests and religious, and all marriages and families. Saint Joseph, pray for us. The third luminous mystery is the preaching of the gospel of the kingdom of God. And before we pray to our Father, followed by the decade of Hail Mary, join with us for meditative purposes in the reading of the gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said, For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and in various places there will be famines and earthquakes. But all these are these things are merely the beginning of birth pangs. Then they will deliver you to tribulation and will kill you and you will be hated by all nations because of my name. At that time, many will fall away and will betray one another and hate one another. Many false prophets will arise and will mislead many. Because lawlessness is increased, most people's love will grow cold. But the one who endures to the end, he will be saved. This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. But when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on his glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate them from one another, as the shepherd separates the sheep from the goats, and he will put the sheep on his right and the goats on the left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was stranger, and you invited me in. I naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? And when did we see you a stranger and invite you in, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and come to you? The king will answer and say to them, Truly I say to you, to the extent that you did it to one of these brothers of mine, even the least of them, you did it to me. Mm -hmm. Then he will also say to those on his left, Depart from me, accursed ones, into the eternal fire, which has been prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me nothing to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not invite me in. Naked, and you did not clothe me. Sick, and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they themselves also will answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not take care of you? Then he will answer them, Truly I say to you, to the extent that you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. These will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal fire, life. Preaching the gospel, the third uh, Luminous mystery, the preaching of the gospel of the kingdom of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, we love you. Save the souls of the unborn children, all souls in purgatory, all priests and religious, and all marriages and families. Thank Carlos Acutis. Pray for us. The fourth luminous mystery is the transfiguration, and before we pray the Our Father, followed by the Decade of Hail Mary, join with us for meditative purposes in the recitation of the prayer for the Feast of the Transfiguration. At the Transfiguration, Father, you showed Jesus in glory a glimpse of what his disciples would see in his risen life. Bless us in our humanity that with an awareness of your presence leading us to share in your divine life, even in our daily struggle. Help us to deepen our knowledge of the law and the prophets, channels of your grace throughout history, and signposts for our journey. Amen. The fourth luminous mystery, the transfiguration. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, we love you. Save the souls of the unborn children, all souls in purgatory, all priests and religious, and all marriages and families. Uh, Saint Augustine. Pray for us. The fifth luminous mystery is the institution of the Eucharist. Before we pray to our Father, followed by the decade of Hail Mary, join with us for meditative purposes in the reading of a quote from Saint Pope John Paul II. Never forget that Jesus in the tabernacle wants you at his side so that he can fill your hearts with the experience of his friendship, which alone gives meaning and fulfillment in our lives. My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, I urge you to continue to deepen your personal devotion to our Lord in the Eucharist. It is in knowing and in loving the Jesus of the Eucharist that you will have the means to understand life, to find security, to be a people with roots. It is Christ who supports and sustains us in the many trials, struggles, challenges, transitions, and happenings of our human existence. Our ancestors in the faith have given us an example of faith that is eternal, a faith that unites heaven and earth, a faith where heaven and earth meet in the most holy Eucharist. St. Pope, Pope John Paul II. The, the uh, fifth luminous mystery of the institution of the Eucharist, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, we love you. Save the souls of the unborn children, all souls in purgatory, all priests and religious, and all marriages and families. Say, yeah. Saint uh, Gertrude the Great. Pray for us. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of thee. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in the valley of tears. 
Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Uh, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Remember, O Most Gracious Virgin Mary, that whatever that never was it known that anyone who was fled to thy protection and for thy help and sought thy intercession was left and aided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly to thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come before thee, I stand sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercies. Hear mercy and hear and answer me. Amen. Praying for the intentions of the Pope, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now in the hour of our death. Amen. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our, our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all of the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.